I bet my hands look massive. On that other one, I look like, you won't know Kenny ever it was, but my hands look massive because I'm like that, like two big bunches of bananas. <laughs> I'll have to try and keep them down here, won't I? <laughs> anyway, there we go. Are you ready, Nikki? I'm ready. I'll count you down. A little check. Yes, I'm ready. Right. Three, two, and one. I forgot what the fuck we're talking about. Let me have a little look. <laughs> oh yes, I've got it now. Why? Ah, yeah. These days, less people than ever can actually just walk up to somebody they, that they don't know or have never met and speak to them. Less people than ever in the whole of humanity. And why is that? Well, because we're all using the medium as social media. We're all in this coma of being on the phone, being on your laptop, speaking to people through a screen. So, you know, you've got your LinkedIn and your Tinder and your dating sites and that could actually compensate for some of your relationship requirements. And it's easy to talk on them because you've got the safety of speaking to people through a screen, through a keyboard. You can actually plan and create who that person's gonna be. Very different when you just gotta walk up to people and I do understand it. But when you speak to people, you can't actually pull those words back. And one of the things that I get on just about every job I do is, you know, what well, it's all right, but our, our people have a real problem speaking to our customers. Well, at some point, somewhere, that's what absolutely what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to compel people and create an instant friendship with your customers to facilitate enough emotion for the card to come out of the wallet and actually go through the credit card machine. So is it damaging when our, I'm going to say it, quite often young people, but often older people, returners to work, don't have those skills? Is it damaging? Oh my God, it's as crucial as having staff that can read and write. It really is like this. If your people are socially adept and can make people feel make your customers feel something in your business's unique presence you're always going to win you're always going to be chosen and you're always going to make money and if they can't and let's be honest it's not hard it's not like we're asking people to wire high wire over the bloody grand canyon but if they can't have easy conversations with people and make people feel good in their and your business presence well, you might as well just give up and bloody well pack up and go home, to be honest.